Hello, welcome to Craftwork. Tonight I'm going to be doing some blind contour drawing, which just means that I'm going to be drawing without looking at the paper. Um, if any of you have been in art school, uh, college particularly, but even like art classes in high school before or after, you may have done this technique. It's pretty common. It's um, something that some, I, you know, actually read a little bit about it today. I should have taken notes so that I could remember and tell you all, but some guy decided to do this in like an artist league. Um, it was at least about 70 years ago, I believe. And it was a way to practice drawing technique to focus on looking at the object and looking at all the lines and spaces within the object, as opposed to thinking about what you know about the object, um, which is what happens when you look away and look down at your paper. And yeah, I mean, I guess it worked because ever since he suggested it, people have been doing it. And um, I, I feel like I've learned a lot for, about drawing from doing blind contour. And um, it's also just really fun and silly because you're not looking at the paper. So you're just kind of like letting yourself go. It's a really nice warm up for drawing. Um, and I thought it was something that people could do along with me tonight if you want to. All you need is some kind of drawing utensil. Um, I brought pens and markers and pencils, um, colored pencils, and then some paper, and that's it. Um, hi, hi, Amber. And hi, anyone else that may be here. Um, so I posted on Instagram looking for suggestions of what to draw, and I got a few. So I think I'll start with those. But if anyone has things that they want me to draw, um, I'd love to hear them. As easy or challenging as you want to make it, it's fun. It never really like quite looks like the thing that you think it's going to look like. So um, yeah, if there's anything you want me want to see me struggle with, um, now's your chance. <laughs> but I'm going to start with, I have made a little list here of things that people already suggested. So I'm going to start really simple. I was asked to draw an apple. So I think Mike will pull up pictures for me to draw from. I don't know if I necessarily need an apple pulled up. Are you going to do it anyway? No. Maybe you can start looking. The next one's going to be a windmill. So maybe you can find a good windmill picture in the meantime. And I'll just draw an apple. And I'm just going to look at the camera. Otherwise, I would look over there. Um, but yeah, so the, the rules are basically I can't look down and I can't lift my pencil from the paper. So I picked a red pencil. Um, here we go. Oh, that's actually like a perfect apple. <laughs> that was a good way to start. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's not perfect as in like, like it's a little lopsided, but it looks like an apple. <laughs> um, that's also just, I feel like in general, uh, I do a lot of line drawing. I'm not really like a drawer. Um, I was actually just talking about this with some friends the other night because we did a still life together um, over Zoom. And I was saying, like, I'm not really, I don't really consider myself a drawer. And it wasn't until I took an illustration class that I sort of, like, gained any confidence around it. Um, but that class was, like, all about the line drawing and not about, like, shadows and highlights and things like that. So I tend to do line drawing in general. And I feel like, I don't know, with the blind contour, it, like, lends itself to that because you're, you you're not like making, you can't like shade really. Um, but I might try to do some, I guess we'll get into things that are a little more complicated. Like I could have made that apple a little harder, I guess. Um, but I'm very happy with it. So moving on. Oh, Brian and Brittany, hello. Thank you for the congratulations. We're very excited to be over 100 subscribers. Yeah, and thank you all for helping us to get there. That happened this past week, I guess. Um, 
we were so close. We were all the way to like 96, and then we were at 99, and then we were over 100, and now I think we have 109 or 10 or something. Um, so Mike's going 111. It's a 111, I think we have. That's great. Oh, that's a nice number, too. That's lucky, I think. Uh, well, 11, is lucky, but 111 is probably lucky. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're excited. Thanks for, thanks for the congratulations. Um, hi, hi to everyone. So anyone that just got here, I kind of gave a little spiel at the beginning and I might repeat myself a little bit, but tonight I'm doing, um, blind contour drawing, which means that I'm drawing something without looking at the paper and without lifting my pen or pencil or whatever I'm using. Um, so I put a, oh, Vanj made us 112. Thanks. Cool. Um, so I put a post up on Instagram and some of you on here already um, have given me some suggestions. So I'm going to draw those things. Um, I already started with the apple, as you can see in the corner there. Um, and then I'm, I'm just going to move on. And if you guys have things you want me to draw and you want to add it to the chat and you haven't already told me, then um, I can do that too. So next on my list here from the Instagram post is a windmill. I think I do need a picture for a windmill. Nice. Okay. I'm trying to decide what color is the windmill. Mm -hmm. Let's make it blue. So now I'm looking, our screen is over there instead of looking at the um, camera. Oh, but I can't, we can't do that because then I'm looking at the screen and I'm looking at the close-up. That's cheating for me. I almost started and then realized that was going to happen. Hmm. Maybe I have to picture, I can look at the picture and then I can look away. We're figuring this out in real time. <laughs> I want it to be engaging for all of you watching, but I also don't want to cheat. Um, maybe I'll, I'll look away at some point. I think I can look away now. It looks like um, like a fan or like a like a bot like a cleaning supply or something. Doesn't it look like kind of like a cleaning supply? I kind of like it. It's also kind of cute. I have this idea. Maybe I shouldn't spoil it or like put the pressure on me, but whatever. I already started saying it. I have this idea that maybe I'll make some nice pages and then like if any of the pages look really good, I then I can look at it and like fill it in with paint or um, turn it into a screen print or something like that, I think um, might be nice. So next on the list is a vase of flowers, which I think I could probably do that from memory. But then after that is a bear. And I think I know what a bear looks like, but maybe a picture could be good. And then I could do a little more detail. Um, so I'm going to do the vase of flowers while Mike looks for a picture of a bear. I have like eight things on eight things on my list. So we're all, we're getting we're getting into it. If anyone has any other ideas, that's great. It's so nice that there's a whole bunch of friends in here right now. It's nice to be here with everyone for craft time. Oh, also we've been doing this thing if anyone else is crafting and wants to send a picture um, so that everyone can see it. You can send it to highlyviolet at gmail.com. And then Mike, who's operating the screens and the computers and stuff like that, um, he will pull it up. And then you can share what you're working on with everyone. Oh, cool. OK. My vase. What was that noise? I wonder if everyone could hear that noise. It sounded like a little cricket. Oh, 
Okay, I have the picture in my head now. Like, you can zoom in if you want. I kind of want to try, like, changing colors at some point, too, which I don't know if that's allowed because it's, like, um, because then I wouldn't be lifting, or then I would be lifting my pencil off the, it was pretty full, so I'm trying to make sure I get all the way around the circle. I'm just looking at the ceiling. I think he has the screen of my hands on, so I know you can't see, so like I could potentially be cheating, but I, I swear I'm looking at the ceiling. This mic is pointing at the camera now, so I'm assuming I'm looking. Oh, I'm on the camera. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, wow, look what I did. <laughs> That kind of looks accurate. These are the flowers. See, I like that. Um, this is so fun. This is fun for me. I hope it's fun to watch. Uh, if anyone wants to try this, like, it's great. It's just such a good way to, like, loosen up, too, because you know it's – I've actually done this with um, – my mom and I used to teach uh, kids, like, drawing and painting class – and I've done this with the kids, and it's so cool to see them, like, they come into the class and they're, like, so nervous about making sure that they're doing everything right. And, like, even if they're, um, re or they're, like, really good artists, they, like, know that they're good at drawing, so they're, like, making everything so perfect. And it's such a fun thing to do to, like, loosen them up a little bit, and they get so giggly, and it's really cute. Um... But I feel like also doing it as an adult, you, like, turn into a little kid, kind of, because it's, like, it is just silly. Um, I feel like I saw some comments there, but I didn't, I didn't read them. Um, oh, thank you. My outfit pairs wonderfully with the room. Um, <laughs> I didn't plan that, but I, I'll take it. I, I, and I think, yeah, yeah, you're, wow, yeah, actually, if I, like, moved over a little, you wouldn't. I blend in. Huh. I did not plan that. Um, I was looking at the reference, but then once, oh, yeah, and then I looked at the ceiling when um, when Mike put this, because we realized, like, I want you to be able to see the up-close camera, but then if I'm looking over there at the reference, then I'm also seeing what I'm drawing, and that's the whole point is that I don't look at the draw at the what I'm drawing so um okay so we have some other okay so we have a fox a basketball hoop oh Amber was also gonna say a bear Amber and Van do you think alike um Derek wants me to draw a duck oh, that's cute okay so basketball hoop fox I'm adding it to my list because I have a really bad memory fox a duck hi Derek I'm excited to draw your duck. Um, okay, so there's the bear. That's so cute. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to draw him, like, right above the apple or something. Um, can you draw scramps or will you get too giggly? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, yeah, no, I will. There's actually, well, we're going to do something similar to that soon. There was a previous request for something that doesn't involve scramps. Um, okay, let's see that bear again. Thank you. Can they see the bear? I think so. Oh, this is a good trick. My, so now I can only see the picture, and then I think Mike can change the screen so that I can't cheat. That's good. Yeah, nice. Okay. I guess if the pictures are up, you guys could like do it along with me too and see 
like how like how close we get and like who you know like which it's crazy to see like the more you do of this like which sort of things you get close on and which sort of things you just don't just don't even come close He's like these nice claws. His hand is so wet. Okay. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I was pretty off here. I thought I was all the way up here already. I think that looks like a bear though. And it's like he's he's hanging out on top of the windmill trying to reach for the apple. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so next here is um, Tanya, which is the cat we made we made a marbling. We made a marble of this cat once already, so I think we can probably use the same picture. Um, and maybe while you're pulling that up, I'll do one that I can do from my mind. I'll do, I think I, well, I don't know if I can do any of them from my mind. I could probably do the basketball hoop. No, we'll pull it up. I'll just have to be patient is all. So, what? <laughs> There she is, nice. It's happening. I wonder if I should change my paper yet. That's gonna be a hard decision when I'm gonna change the paper, when we're gonna like have a full sheet, you know? I think I'm gonna put her where should she be? I'm gonna put her down here like she's peeking in. Okay. Little mouth, the whiskers, and her nice little front body. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this one. Oh, <laughs> I felt so good about. It. I thought it was gonna like look exactly like her. Oh, Tanya. It kind of does. I can see the whiskers here. I think I should do it with this. Oh, there she is. Yeah. That's so funny. I I mean, yeah, I've said it already. I'm going to say it again. I love how, like, you just don't know. Like, I thought I had full control over that. <laughs> Still pretty cute. It still looks like a little kitty cat. Um, nice. Okay, so the next thing here on my list is this was a this was Brian's request. Um, oh, a hummingbird. Okay, I'll add that. I'll add that. Um, okay, so this was Brian's request, and he requested that I draw Mike as a dog that is Scramp's best friend. So. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Um, this might need a, a new... I'm going to just leave that there and come back to it. Um, what color should this be? Hmm. Mike as a dog would probably be red today. Not always. Um, I think 
this is going to work. I, I'm going to actually, meet, what are you going to pull up? What kind of picture are you going to pull up? I think I'm, this is going to have to be partially from my mind, too. Mike the dog as Scram's best friend, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the red dog. OK, so it's Mike, but with that, those dog features. OK, I'm going to actually look at, I have that dog picture in my mind. And then I'm going to look at the real Mike that's in the room. And then I'm going to make some kind of mashup. Here we go. This is his mustache. And then I know I do his nose, but I'm thinking it's like a little dog nose. I'm probably like a dog mouth and a snout. And then some nice ears. And like he'd probably have a little bit of like fluff on his head. And then here's, he's going to have nice paws that he's running. I don't know if, I, if everyone can tell this is a dog that's running. And this is his tail. Oh! <laughs> well, that's Scramp's new best friend. He does have a mustache. I started with the mustache. That's what it is. Oh, you know what? I forgot about eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to like leave them all as they are, but I might revise them a little bit going forward. But um, Brian, you can tell Scramps that this is his new best friend, Mike. <laughs> OK, next is a request for my emotions in this moment which is very abstract and conceptual. Love it. Um, you know, I went to like the conceptual art school, so just <laughs> bringing me back. <laughs> um, let's see, what are my true emotions right now? Probably lime green. I mean, I'm doing all these fun drawings, so in this very moment, I'm feeling kind of playful and happy. So I'm just going to close my eyes for this one because like, I'm not going to get a reference for this. And this is supposed to be abstract anyway, I think. I'm going to make like a nice, happy person. This is like happy hair, and then this is like a happy smile. And happy eyes, happy eyes, and then happy nose, and then this, and then a little, she's wearing a dress because that's what I'm doing, and she's bringing her arms up like happy, and a little jumpy legs. Oh, that does look like a nice happy person. Huh. Wow. So that's my emotions right now. Um, OK, next is a frog jouster gloriously riding a bird mount, which we have a reference. We can have a reference for this, because this is like um, Brian makes a cool video game, and this is like a reference from that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I think that the dog friend is beautiful in all the ways that you could mean that. Um, and yeah, this little lady, she's emotional. Oh, skip the fox. Okay. Well, maybe we'll still do the fox anyway, but we can do, we can do as many drawings as people want to request. We're here all night. We're here till about 10. <laughs> We've got time. Um, Mike's pulling up a photo for me to reference for this next one.
I don't think that color is what it is. I guess green, because the frog is usually green. I just used, well, it'll be a different green, because it's a, This will be used for promotional assets. Wonderful. Okay, this these are a lot of little, these are a lot of little guys. Um, oh, they, they can't see them yet. I can see them, you guys can, oh, there they are. Um, I'm gonna just draw the frog and the bird though. So, okay, maybe I'll do, I'm gonna start a new page for this one too and go back to the emotional my frog. Um, hmm. Maybe I'm actually going to use blue because there's a lot of blue. I'll use this bluish green color. Jade. Jade green. Here we go. Here's little teeth, and then we, oh, we've got to get that horn in there. And then it's just his like armor, turtle, little, or froggy, little froggy armor. His little legs, oh, I have to go back up and get his, how am I going to get up to his arms? Hmm. I guess I'll just do this. Um, I think we're should be back down to his little legs and we go little birdie. The little birdie has a handkerchief on. And this is the bird beak. And Don't want to get too complicated. And the eye. All right. Oh, my. Look what we did. That's pretty, that's not bad. I can see it. Can you guys see it? So, like, okay, this is what I think is cool. So, this gives, like, the little outline like weird framework of the drawing and then if like I went back in and colored it in or painted it or something it'd be really nice I think it could be really nice next um next is the uh basketball hoop we need a jesse string I know we need like a third camera <laughs> um so no so now though what I'm doing is that Mike's putting a um, visual on the big screen, but then I can only see, he, then he's like covering the camera from my view so that you guys can see my drawing, but then I can't see my drawing. He's doing like a little trick for me. Maybe he'll type in and explain that better. I don't know, you get it, right? It's just like I can see one thing and you guys can see something else. Some of them I look at the ceiling. Basketball hoop. Did I say that? You're on it. He's on it. What color is a basketball hoop? Gray? I don't know if this marker works though. Yeah, it might be hard to see. I'm gonna make it pink. Oh, can't see that at all. Look at this thing. Maybe purple. Okay, we're gonna have a purple basketball hoop. Oh, I just saw it. It's red. <laughs> it looked red. The hoop. The hoop is red. All right. Should I draw the guy too, or should I just draw? Yeah, he's saying yeah. Um. Okay. Here we go.
So, like, there's the hoop, then I'd be done. <laughs> um, and then I guess I should draw the basketball as well. Thank you. Is the net? Oh, the net's kind of. Uh oh, I gotta get back up to his hands. Which basketball player is that? I have a guess, but I like. Oh, oh, it is. Oh yeah, Shack Attack. Do you guys know Shack Attack? his armpit then this is his jersey number this is the side and the back and let's get his little head in there and his nose and his nervous face why is he so nervous it's in and dunk oh wow oh wow I went right over the frog <laughs> Brian, I'll make you another frog later. We got it. We captured it. So that's the basketball hoop. Um, this is the hoop. That's the net. That's his hands. I don't know what happened down there. Uh, yeah, that one's pretty cool. So next we've got a box. It goes fox, duck, hummingbird, and then that's all that's on my list. I didn't notice if maybe there were some other comments for things after that. We'll see. So far, I feel like, wow, the, I mean, the apple looks correct, but that's like, that was an easy one. I feel like the bear is really good. Yeah, and the frog's eyes looked good. Good. This is so fun. Fox. I think I'll do a fox in the top corner over here. Um, oh, thanks. Uh, Hardy's here. He likes the submerged shark painting. Yeah. Um, we hung those, there's a shark behind me and then there's a shark over there too that were Mike's dad's paintings. And uh, they're really cool. And we hung them in here and then like covered them with the curtains, but we left them up so that we could make little, a uh, little situation like that behind me. Um, oh, purple wisteria is going on the list. Okay. So we have fox, duck, hummingbird, and then purple wisteria. Oh, it's so cute. Um, okay. I think I picked the right color for this too. All right, here we go. Just waiting for Mike to cover, because right now I can see my drawing, but then soon I, now I, now I cannot. Wonderful. Okay. It's kind of like with these fluffy fellas, it's hard to know how much to go into the fluff and how much to um, just focus on the shape. Nose. Sly little smile. I didn't realize that foxes had whiskers. He's kind of got a hefty little neck here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, there he is. Um, 
Next we have a duck. Derek requested a duck. <laughs> this is a nice page of, oh, I was going to say it's all animals, but then I remember that Shaq is on here <laughs> with the basketball hoop. <laughs> it kind of turned into an animal, though. Um, yeah, while Mike is finding me a picture of the duck, I'll show what's already happened. We started with an apple, then we did a windmill, then we did a vase of flowers over here, and then this is a cat named Tanya, um, and the bear, and then... On this page, um, the little orange guy is Mike as a dog that is Scramp's best friend, named Mike the dog. And then the green one is my is like it's like it turned into a self portrait, but it was supposed to be my emotions right now. Um, yeah. And then I you've probably all seen the current page with the basketball hoop and the frog jouster on the bird mount and the fox and uh yeah now we're moving on to a duck i'm just waiting on mike to find you a good picture what color should i make the duck probably blue i guess i'll make it blue <laughs> like all good ducks For some reason, I was picturing like Big Bird, not like a mallard. <laughs> Big Bird's not really a, not a duck. I guess I should make it green just because he's, mm, or I don't have any brown. No, I'll just stick with blue. I'm going to move it. I'm going to do this duck sideways over here. All right, here we go. The little feathers. Ooh, and we gotta get his little foot in there. Okay, well, the blue is the duck. Like, I feel like sometimes I'm right on it, and then other times I'm way off. Like, I thought this was here. Maybe I should move on to another page. It's getting kind of crowded on here. There's the duck! <laughs> If Derek is here, oh yeah, there's Bridget. There's Derek's duck. Nice. That's a good one. Um, next we've got a hummingbird, please. Uh, oh, Mike says that some people have sent, oh, some people are crafting along, that's nice. We could take, you could show it, you could pull those up. You can take a little moment momentary break from the drawing and show what other people are working on. I like to see what you guys are doing. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's like been nice for me to take a little time for some random crafting, even though I'm like, I'm still doing <laughs> like hands-on creative stuff every day. Uh, it's still really nice just to do like a little fun crafting in the evenings. I can't see, I can't see the comments right now, but I think someone said they like the colors. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, oh, cute. I've seen this picture already. This is, um, this is from Amber, right? This is uh, from, so last week we did, if you missed it, we did um, like a color transfer. I went out and collected a bunch of flowers and leaves and um, just like stuff from nature and 
played around. I really didn't like know what was going to happen. I just like smashed them into some fabric and um, like used a hammer and then tried to get some prints and then also dipped things in dye and tried to get prints. And then Amber did that during the week and it was so cool. I love it. It's so pretty. I wonder um, what's going to happen when it washes. I haven't washed my dress that I made last week yet, and I'm curious, like, how much of it's going to stick and how much it's not. That's, like, the crazy thing about natural color. You just, like, you never know. Some of it might stick really well, and then some of it might just, like, wash out completely. But the process is really fun. Um, I can't quite see that yet. Looks like a lot of nice colors, though. Ooh, what's that? Who sent that? That's nice. It looks like maybe it's a similar thing on paper. Yeah? Oh, it's also from Amber? Oh, nice. Yeah, those are so pretty. It looks like, um, they look like sort of like abstract landscape drone photos or something like don't they like like as if it's like from above like a forest or like a field of flowers or like a river or something they're so pretty do we have some more coming in yes nodding his head um it's the flowers on paper too that's i'm glad that you did that um I'm not sure if I, like, like I was just saying, not being sure, like, what's going to stick and what's not. I, like, personally, I like the process of it, and I don't really, like, even when things wash away, I'm like, eh, oh, well. But when it, I don't know, sometimes it's, like, really upsetting when things wash away, too, and I, like, I'm glad that you did some on paper, because those, obviously, you don't have to wash those, so those won't wash away. Um, oh, what have we got here? Are those the, those must be the flowers that were collected to, to make it? Oh, no. Oh, these are Brittany's flowers. Oh, nice. Yeah, because I think Brittany made a similar, are we going to see it? It's so pretty. Yeah, those look so, they both look so good. I hope the babies like them. That's like such a treat for that to be one of the first things that those kids are ever going to wear. It's so cool. <laughs> I love them. Um, thanks for sharing. If anyone else is doing stuff too, or maybe you already, already have. Mike is controlling the computer and retrieval of pictures and things. Um, but if anyone else is working on stuff and wants to send it along, I love to see it. Um, something's gonna ha something's gonna come up. Oh, is this our next the next one on the list? All right. Oh, it's Estella with her kitty cat. Okay, cute. Um, Estella. Brace yourself. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to capture your likeness. I'm going to put it back on this. I'm going to add it to the one with the emotion and the dog, since we already have some like portraits on here. I think that, let's see. I think like a light blue is good. Okay, here we go. Um, where do I start? Ooh, 
Lula her ace. Look at Lily with her eyes out. Give her a little nose. One eye. Guess I'll just cross over and get the other eye. And a smile. Put a couple little teeth in there. And then we get to the kitty cat. Oh, I feel like I'm going off the page. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get her little ears. Cute little eyes. There's her nose. Another eye. And the last little ear. And, oh my. That is super abstract. Um, The cat kind of looks like what are what were those little what's that movie? The Gremlins. It looks like a little gremlin. Oh, I love the gremlins. There you are. <laughs> cool. Um, next on my list over here is a hummingbird, Mike. Mike has a big job tonight. Lots of clicking around. Guess I should make, maybe I'll do, oh, this will, so I have hummingbird and then I have purple wisteria here on my list. So I think those look, those will be nice together. I don't know if a hummingbird and a wist, maybe a hummingbird eats a wisteria. I have no idea, but I think they'll be nice together. They live outside. They all live outside. So I'm going to use purple for the wisteria, obviously. So what color is a hummingbird? Blue? Oh, it's right in front of me. Uh, red. Okay. <laughs> Great. Oh, what's this one? Oh, or like orange. I didn't bring any orange. I'll just use red. Um, okay, here we go. Nope. No, no. Okay. All right. I have a really pointy little nose. Oh, ow. Hummingbirds are so pretty. little like bottom tail and then the second wing all right oh well there we are there's our hummingbird yeah that's not bad <laughs> this was supposed to be the second wing Oh, good. Estella loves her portrait. Wonderful. <laughs> nice little guy. Yeah, you're killing it. Um, next, we have a purple wisteria. And then I think we're at the end of the list, unless I missed something. So if anyone has further suggestions, I'll take them. Um, or we can just start making it up. But... We kind of cruised through these pretty quickly. I expected that. That's actually why I chose this project. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, last time I was a slow one, and then this one's a fast one, and I like to mix it up. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. I don't know if you, oh, you guys can't see it yet. What a pretty plant. coming. It's on its way. It's like, I couldn't picture it. I thought it was like a 
more like a violet or something, but it's like a viney, hangy, pretty lavendery color. You'll all see it very soon, or somewhat soon. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um, are you going to give me a big spoon? <laughs> okay, I'm on it. Okay, I'll look at the ceiling. Oh, wonderful, thank you. So many little petals on this guy. These are all little petals. I think this one's gonna look good. I guess I shouldn't speak before I see it. Little viney thing. I should probably get some of these leaves in here. It's like harder than, I never remember how hard it is to actually keep my pencil on the paper too. It's kind of like, I guess I don't have to press as hard as I'm pressing, but my, my hand kind of hurts. Okay, I started in the middle, so now I have to work my way over to the side. Okay. Oh, that's like, I feel like that actually looks a lot like it, but um, I didn't stick to, I moved around a lot. <laughs> but the texture is there. Cool. Next. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a nice thing just on its own, huh? With the hummingbird and the flowers. That was that was a Mike suggestion. I can't take full credit for that. Okay. Um and then was did I see horse? Someone said horse. Wonderful. I love horses. Horse girl over here. I had a horse. I never had a horse. Uh, I rode a horse. <laughs> Let's be clear. I rode a horse for years whose name was also Jessie. And she was white with brown spots. And she had blue eyes. And she was such a troublemaker. Um, but, like, also really nice. She was just kind of lazy. I rode her. And then I was, like, learning how to do jumps. And um, she never wanted to go over the jumps. She would just like slowly, like it was so much work just to get her to move, but she was such a nice lady. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about, I wonder what kind of horse Mike's gonna pull up for me. Probably not gonna be Jessie. Oh my gosh, it's majestic. Oh, you can't see it yet. Oh, there she is. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. Um, it's perfect for a climbing vine. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like climbing all over the paper. Um, what am I going to use for this horse? I feel like maybe one of these markers. Maybe like the purple highlighter feels appropriate for this image. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Do I start with the head or the hair? the nostrils and the hair the ears this horse has like the most beautiful long hair Ooh. this is the neck maybe the back Oh, I forgot to do that nice long tail. Oh, I'm all the way at the top leg now. Maybe I just down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. I wonder if I remembered to do the eyes or not, or if they just got misplaced. Her tail got all the way down here. <laughs> Her tail is supposed to be up there. Um, otherwise, like, that's pretty much like a horse, right? It's not quite as majestic as the one in the picture, but it's still a horse. Um, remember when your horse bit my horse during riding lessons? That's amazing. I feel like I've heard that story. <laughs> um, we need a moon. You want me to draw a moon? In the, oh, you're, oh, in the upper left corner of the drawing? Okay. <laughs> um, what color do you want it to be? I'm looking for your response in the comments. Blue? Blue moon? <laughs> okay, it's going to be blue moon. What is a blue? Oh, that's the beer. <laughs> I thought it was something like more poetic. Um, well, no blue moon? <laughs> oh, it is a song too? Oh yeah, it wants a blue moon. Okay, so it is. <laughs> This is an insight into our every day. <laughs> um, are you going to show me a picture of a moon? Yeah, it's coming. I'm going to drink some water. Let's see it. I don't know. Uh, I'm curious what kind of moon you're going to give me, if it's going to be like a moon with a face on it or if it's going to be like a full moon or a half moon or a partial moon or what? Oh, <laughs> really? Is that what you want? I guess that's what he wants. All right, here we go. I'll just, I can probably, I probably don't have to, oh, okay, here we go, okay. Where's the circle? Where's the sash? Go on back the other way. Okay, and I guess I'll give you a little bit of this um, texture here. I think I'm back at the beginning. I don't know. It's going to be hard. I don't know if it's going to be harder or easier to write the letters. Oops, I lifted it a little bit. Oh, I 
looked at it again to get the T. Um, okay. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's <laughs> that's the new full logo for Blue Moon beer. Send it their their way. <laughs> nice. Okay. What's next? What else? I mean, is this one done? Now I feel like we should figure out how to, like, like make... Now I'm, like, thinking about compositions. This one's done. Mike's nodding his head yes, definitely. <laughs> okay. So this one's done. This one's done. We decided this one was done. Um... I feel like this first one needs something. What do I add to this one? Like maybe just something up here. The beer explains why the horse is so crazy looking. Totally. It's probably like the, the stables in front of the brewery or something. They got into it. <laughs> What would that horse's name be? I guess Big Blue. <laughs> Maybe that's the true Big Blue. Oh, we have a picture from Derek. Awesome, okay. I'm ready. Is it a craft? Ooh, nice. What are we looking at here? It's a map? Ooh, I wonder what it's a map of. Maybe it's like a treasure map or something. Oh, it is. Mike's saying yes. Ah, I guessed it. Cool. Um, I'd love to hear more about the treasure map. I like the colors. I like how minimal it is. And I'm curious what kind of treasure we're looking for. And does it have anything to do with the duck that was requested? <laughs> Very cool. Um, any and all crafts are welcome here. I'd love to see more. I love what I've seen so far. It is a treasure map. It's wonderful. Um, okay, I need to add something to this picture here. We've got a bear, an apple, a windmill, a Tanya cat, and what was this? Oh, a vase of flowers, I think. <laughs> Um, well, I guess bears like honey, so we should probably have, like, a pot of honey or some, or, like, a picnic basket. I don't even think what else bears, I mean, I guess bears, like, there's more to it. It's five pages long. <laughs> wow, that's an amazing long treasure map. But it has nothing to do with the duck. That's, that's fine. I like that there's multiple interests. Treasure maps and ducks don't always have to go together. Um, well, maybe I should actually draw a treasure box and we can pretend it's full of honey. I'll make it um, gold. You can find me a treasure box picture? Wonderful. Mike's gonna find me that. And then I think, like, okay, I think this one is done. The one with the frog, bird, fox, basketball hoop, something? What else was on here? Oh, the duck. <laughs> it was sideways. That's why I couldn't tell. Yeah, I feel like this one's done. It's like all, it all got, they all got kind of like long and I don't know, I like the colors. And then I feel like this one's going to need something too. So if anyone has a suggestion of what to add to the, um, currently it's all portraits, so maybe it should be another portrait of something, someone, maybe like a famous person portrait. Um, oh, here's my treasure box, sweet. Okay.
there's the treasure box up in the corner. Um, I guess, I mean, if you're hunting for treasure, you have to know a lot about treasure to know that that's a treasure box. And then I guess figure out how to make it, how to open it. It's very, ah, <laughs> uh, very good knife. It's very treasure. Um, okay, I guess, well, and now I still don't feel like this is done though. It needs like something green here. A palm tree? Okay, let's see it. <laughs> I guess I know what a palm tree looks like, I'm sorry. I can, um, I can close my eyes. No, no, he's on it. <laughs> Are there bears that like palm? I guess koala bears like palm trees. Is that wrong? <laughs> Mike's like, no, not at all. Um, what kind of trees do koala bears like? Eucalyptus. Uh, ew, whoops. Um, what kind of bears like palm trees? Maybe none of them. I think... I was thinking of more like a pine tree for this bear, but I like that he's a, he's an adventurer. He's an adventure bear and he's out on an island and he's looking for treasure. And um, he followed the windmills to uh, the palm tree. Here it comes, okay. Um, where's this going? This is going over here. This is going above the bear. All right, I'm gonna try not to go over the bear. <laughs> I really like him. While I'm doing this, if anyone has a celebrity portrait that you'd like me to draw, that is something that I am interested in hearing about. Um, and if no one thinks of one, before I'm done with the palm tree, then Mike can choose any celebrity he would like to see drawn by me. <laughs> I think I went off the page. No, oh, it feels like I, I'm not sure. Nice little trunk. All right. Oh, I did go off the page. That looks like a palm tree. That's a nice page. All right, that one's definitely done. Cool. We need to finish this one now. Oh, Stanley Kubrick. All right. <laughs> oh, scary guy. <laughs> I guess he's not scary, but he made like freaky movies. Um, can you pull up a picture? I definitely cannot picture what he looks like. I can picture like the bowling hats worn in the clockwork orange, but that's the only image I have. Um, You were going to say Abe Vigoda? I don't know who that is. Do I? I don't know. Maybe I'll see a picture later and I'll figure it out. So I guess, um, okay, I'm going to use like, um, hmm, what, do, what color do I use for them? Like here, I guess? Yellow. I guess he's yellow. Yellow. Not very well. I'm gonna use a different color. Black. Use black. Pen or marker. Pen. I'm ready. Okay. There he is. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm glad you found one with a camera in it too. That was smart. Oh, no one can see it yet. I'm going to put him up in the corner here. Um, I guess I should start probably with the camera part. Can you cover my... It's just as they put it all. This is the lens. Right, and then here's his beard. And here's his mustache, yeah. And his mouth. And he's a very defined nose. And, oh, I want to try and get these eyebrows. He is so focused. He's got extra bags under his eyes. That's good. And then eyebrow over here. All right, and... There's a lot of shadow on this photo over here. There's his other eye and his lid and the bag over there. And then his hair. He's got nice, solid hair. Right, and his ear. And that is very accurate. <laughs> Looks just like him, yeah? This is um, Stanley, Stanley holding his camera. Stanley and his cam. Um... <laughs> He fits really nicely on the page. I could potentially do another one. Do you want to give me your guy, Mike? Here, understand. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I mean, if anyone has more suggestions, I, uh, I'm open to it. I don't have any, any idea what time it is. Now I know what time it is. It's nice. It's at least 9.15. Okay, that's good. We're gonna get um, this next next guy. I already forget who it was. We'll find out soon enough. Um, I guess I'll figure out what color. Maybe I'll make a uh, yellow. Think no. Oh, it's too light. Well, I was gonna use the gold. The gold isn't too light. Maybe I'll do something else. I guess the purple looks good with these. Oh, I could. Maybe we go teal. Let's go teal. Uh, yeah, let's go teal. Thank you to all of you for um, being here and giving us suggestions. It's so fun for me. Oh, this guy, this is who I'm drawing, okay. I think I recognize him. Cool, yeah, he's gonna look great over here, but he shouldn't be teal, I didn't realize. I think he's more, I think he's more purple. a big old ear. Make sure that his jaw. It's like his little I guess he has I'll go really light for this. Um he doesn't have a mustache but he has like a mustache shadow underneath his lips. Alright, very thin. Let's make the lines. 
nose. He has big brows. And that other big brow. Very easy to keep it in here. Eyes and oh, um, just a couple of small lines on his forehead. And oh, you should, should I get his shirt? We should just get the collar at least. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. It's the purple one. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of, it's not wrong. <laughs> kind of looks like him. Cool. I'm pretty happy with these. I feel like this craft is more similar for me to like the night that we did the marbling where, oh no, where I, uh, it's like not a thing I do a lot and I don't have a ton of control over it and I really like them. I think that it's cool how that turns out when that happens. I'm gonna get that paper that I just dropped. Um, all right. Any other suggestions here? Something's on his way. Ooh, nice. Some oranges being painted on a tray. Very good. I think that's my mom. Yeah. Yes. I know it is. In fact. Nice. Thanks for sending it in. Yeah, if anyone else is doing crafting, let us know. I might just do a couple um, more little drawings and then maybe call it a night. Maybe we'll end a little early if um, I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm having fun. What? I'm just going to be honest here. I'm having fun. Um, but I don't have very many ideas in my brain because I'm a little tired. So if anyone has ideas for me, I'll take them and I'll do them. Um, now convinced Picasso wasn't looking when he was drawing. You know, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible that that's part of it. That's actually really like, um... I mean, I think you're making a joke and it's funny, um, but I also think it's interesting like that this is now a, like a drawing practice that people use. And um, it wasn't, I don't think it was really a thing that people did during Picasso's time. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows. Um, but now people do it and I wonder if that's part of it. Like I wonder if they've, they, you can like see the lines to, to real life when you look at these abstract and paintings. And then, um, I don't know, there must be something about it that like helps you to see shape. Because Picasso was a really, like he could do really realistic things as well. But then like the things that are, like all the cubism stuff that's famous, um, is so wacky and like totally a lot like this stuff. It's cool. Um, a wave in the ocean has been requested. Mike's looking something up, he's finding something. Are you gonna find me a picture of the wave too? Okay, wonderful, I will wait. I do think that some of these, like, I guess I'm always thinking about textile stuff now, but I do think that some of these as like a repeat printed would be cool. I think some of you on here 
Um, well, I know some of you on here do some clothing and textile stuff too. Um, I wonder if you have any other ideas of how to incorporate something like this. Like, I guess you could also just like draw directly on the fabric um, with some kind of thickened dye or like a fabric marker or something too would be cool. Oh, nice. Ooh, should I try and get like the shadows in it too maybe this time? Let's see. Well, I use blue. I should be able to do this. I'm going to do it like, I'm going to try and see if I can like use the weight of the pencil to um, do some of the shadows. I have this little like fuzzy, fuzzy. <laughs> I was like, this one's going to be beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's not not beautiful, but um, wow. <laughs> I mean, there's the foam, there's the wave. My very first wave. <laughs> um, okay, so who so something has to go with the wave then? Oh, next page. <laughs> I'll put it to the side. Something does need to go with the wave. Um, if anyone has any ideas, let me know. Um, Mike has something he is pulling up for me that I don't know what it is. Very exciting. Um, Oh, <laughs> all right, here we go. I think I'm going to be drawing the beetles. Am I drawing all of them? Maybe I should do one at a time. I think I should do one at a time. Let's, um, yeah, let's just work our way around. Um, Oh, add a fish to the ocean. Okay, that's a that is a great idea. <laughs> I'll do that. I'm gonna do, draw the beetles real quick, <laughs> and then I'm gonna add a fish to the ocean. <laughs> um, who should be what color? Do you think? I feel like. Um, all right. Uh, I got this. <laughs> this is the fun part of the fun of this is just picking the colors. This one's gonna be this one's gonna be the beak. So I think I'm going to need a close up. We're just going to work our way around here. Uh, I'm starting with John, yes? Well, it should be the exact same.
Maybe they'll use this for their next album cover. Okay. <laughs> I need to take a break in between each one. Oh, you couldn't see it. There's, there he is. <laughs> There's good old John. And um, I think we do green, bright green. Is that George on the top right? Is that Paul? I mix up George and Paul. Oh, but I want it. OK, Paul should be yellow, though. Oh, but yellow we can't see. Paul should be gold. Um, there we go. Okay. That's a nice, like, tall cut section. Oh, he looks like a, like a baby. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a little baby? <laughs> okay, well, that's Paul. And next, George. Yes? Yeah, we'll save Ringo for last. As always. <laughs> well, no, I don't know. It's, I don't know his true feelings. Um, okay, I need to have it in a bit of green. the bottom with his little flippy hair. Oops, I forgot his lips. I forgot his mustache, sorry. Let's put that down. All right. Oh, interesting. Well, all right. Um. <laughs> what would they say if they saw this? Um, OK, and then we do the Ringo. He is not, I thought it was going to be teal. He's not going to be teal anymore. He is going to be red. Red for Ringo. All right. Oops. Very nice bangs. Oh, did I do his mustache? I don't remember. Did I do his nose? Gosh. Oh, man. Sorry, Ringo. Oh, I was not paying attention to that. Wow, I really don't remember what part I drew and what part I didn't. Okay, that's his chin. And there he is. Well, um, so this is a band called The Beatles. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them or seen them before, but this is them. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I think if they were like around and together, they would like this. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, for picking that for me. Um, oh, you want to show it this way? Yeah. It's kind of hard to see. 
in that chair. Well, there it is. There you are. Um, okay, so now I'm going to add a fish to the ocean. It is the magical mystery tour. <laughs> I wonder what color my fish is going to be. Oh, is there any shark? I see Mike looking behind my head. I know that there's a shark back there. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like if I'd actually tried to draw them, like, and make it look like them, because I'm not really like a trained drawer from life. I mean, I guess I, well, I'm like semi-trained, whatever. Um, I don't know if it would look like percentage of how much it looks like them and doesn't look like them. I feel like it might look more like someone actually tried to draw them as opposed to like a bunch of lines all over the place and like abstract versions. But I kind of feel like this might look just as much like them as like a real drawing that I would try to make. Oh, right. Well, I already, this is gonna be a very blue page. Um, but maybe I can use this blue, this dark, is it dark? No, it's actually exactly the same color. Maybe I can use this marker. Maybe I can use this highlighter. No, it's out of ink. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna use this double-sided marker to use the blue side. Here we go. He got lost in the sea. Oh. He's, well, that's kind of nice because I was thinking, I knew that I was going to be drawing it like I wanted to draw it bigger so that it was out of the ocean um, or so that you could see it. But, it. but then it meant that he was a fish jumping over the wave. And I felt kind of like he was a fish that was never going to find the water. And now he's just one with the ocean. Um, so that's nice. I think there should be something up, upstairs, up here, um, above the fish and ocean, too. And maybe I shouldn't use blue for it. <laughs> I knew that, because it works. Like, with all these, it works. When they go over top of it, you can still see it. This one, he just, his nose got lost in the foam. Um, okay, I need something, one or two more things for the top of this. Um, yeah, and then I think we're going to have done this craft, like, we're going to have really done this craft well. Once we have one or two more things <laughs> for the top of the ocean, I'll take more. If people want to send me more, or if you want to give me more, Mike, I'll take them. But I'm also feeling like we've done this craft really well. <laughs> um, and so on that note, too, if anyone is um, has been just like waiting for the right moment to send anything that you're working on, this would be the moment. This might be the last chance you're going to get <laughs> for the evening. Um, so send it through if you want to highlyviolet at gmail.com. 
Um, yeah, this has been this has been fun. We're still here for a little while longer, but this has been fun for all of you that are here now. I'm saying it for you. Um, thanks for tuning in. What am I drawing next? That's the question. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to rearrange my pens. So if you're, um, we've already, I know, like I said earlier, we reached our 100 subscriber mark, and I'm very excited about it, and I'm very thankful that you guys helped us get there. Um, so we were talking about it, we are excited about it, we are looking forward to it. What it meant was that we could change our um, YouTube page from youtube.com slash like whatever random numbers and letters they gave us to um, youtube.com slash Hailey Barlett. And that's great because it makes it a lot easier for people to find us and for us to share it. And um, we're starting to get excited about walking. We're obviously not doing it now because the city is on pause for um, to stay safe during the virus and we are totally uh, fine with postponing it and um, enjoying doing all these videos, these live streams and the 360 videos that we've been doing, but we've been talking about it and I think since an element of our um, 2020 Total Clarity Project is to have a podcast, we are in the next couple of weeks going to start transitioning out of the live stream and into a podcast. And I think the plan is that we're going to keep doing the 360 videos um, and then, yeah, introduce a podcast element and try to figure that out. So I hope if you've been enjoying this that you'll also be enjoying those things. I know they're kind of different. They're actually like very different, but, um, but they're kind of similar. We're like, it's still me. Um, we're still, we're still, it's still us. It's still me and Mike and we're on it. And um, if that's at all part of the draw here, then uh, great. Um, all right. That's my, that's what I had to say. Now I'm back to drawing. Thank you for finding this image for me, Mike. Uh, this is, th what, this is like a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on in here. Um, I guess I'll draw the, the, the sun. I guess I'll do the part, the sun part first and then come in and do the palm trees after because it's, maybe two different things and two different colors. Oh, there's birds in there too. Oh my, okay. Um, here's our, this is gonna be our horizon line. Oh, can you see it in the thing? Yeah, okay, great. So, let's see if I really don't look on the page. It's a powerful sun. That's the sun. Um, I am looking in between colors. Just full transparency here. This is the bottom of the sun. Nice. And then the palm trees. And maybe I'll do the, I mean, I'll just do it as it is. I'll do the palm trees and the birds all in a dark color, like a nice little shadow. Our fish is, oh, now our fish is on land. That's all right. He's okay. He's jump. He's jumping in and out. Oh, hey, Fan. Okay, here's our island. And I'm almost, as I'm like finishing this up, since we have a new hello, um, if anyone wants to give any requests for something for me to draw, 
blind. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing blind contour drawings. So if there's any more requests that come in soon, we'll stick around and we'll do more. But if not, then we're going to go. Um, these are the leaves of the palm trees. And the next palm tree. Does this look like a palm tree? Don't know that. And then, um, oh, and then I guess I'm just going to, I'm not going to look. I'm just going to jump up and do some birds. I'm going to, I'm, this is like, I'm not looking, but I am lifting. So. Wowee. All right. Well, this is a crowded one. <laughs> this is an uh, ocean scene. Um, started with the wave, and then we added a fish, which um, <laughs> is over here, and also in blue. That was, uh, that was uh, my choice. <laughs> and then um, we got this nice sunset and uh, palm trees and birds, and there we are. Very good. Um, so that's blind contour drawing for you. Um, I'm just going to, since like we've had some people come in and out, I'm just going to go through and show them all, uh, show all the drawings. This was the last one. Um, before that was, oh, and did I explain it already again? I think I, think I did. Um, but blind contour drawing is basically, it's just that I'm, uh, drawing from an image, I'm looking at the image, I'm not looking at the paper, and I'm not lifting my pencil from the paper. So they get all abstract and weird and silly, and it's really fun and quick, and um, it's a nice like warm up, and it's also a nice practice for like what are you looking at while you're drawing. Um, so yeah, so then um, this is the Beatles. Yep, that's um, oh here, let's look over here. Oh. Stay over here, up oh, back here. <laughs> Those are the Beatles. Um, we've got all four Beetle Boys. We have um, Paul and no, <laughs> wow, um, John and Paul and George and Ringo, and that's that's those are what they look like. And then we have over here. We've got. Um, that was uh, Mike as a dog that is best friends with Scramps. And then this was my current emotions, which turned into a self-portrait. And then um, this was Estella with her uh, cat, Tanya, uh, stuffed cat, Tanya. And then um, what was, oh, this was Stanley Kubrick. And um, what's this guy's name? Abe Vigoda. Yes. All right. So that's that. <laughs> this one is really nice and simple. This is a hummingbird and a purple wisteria. That one's quite pretty, I think. And then a couple more. We've got, um, okay, here we have the yellow was a fox. The um, green is a frog jouster gloriously riding a bird mount. <laughs> And then the orange was uh, Shaquille O'Neal dunking a basketball. Um, the prompt was basketball hoop, and it kind of it grew. And then um, the blue was a duck. Yep, there it is. And um, let me see if the, that one for last. So then this one has uh, the bear, which I do, I don't know. I think, wow. I don't know if the beetles or the bear are now my favorite. The bear is still really good. That was an early one. I think I was like taking my time a little bit more with it maybe. I don't know, or maybe it just turned out well. Um, but we've got a bear, we've got an apple, we have a treasure chest, a palm tree. This was a real cat named Tanya. This is a windmill and this is a vase of flowers. And then our last one, this is a great composition too. This is a horse with the Blue Moon logo above it. And those are all the drawings we made tonight. I made tonight. I made all the drawings. You guys helped me by suggesting things, and I appreciate it. Um, 
I don't know. Sometimes when people say, like, we did this, and they, like, it's only them doing it, I get annoyed. So that's why I'm correcting myself. <laughs> I don't know if any of you get annoyed by that. Um, it's also fine. It's nice. It's inclusive. I've yet to make up my mind on how I feel about <laughs> that wording. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I do know that I am thankful for you all to be here. Um, it makes me feel like you're here with me when you're typing in and giving suggestions and sending in the crafts that you've done. I would love to see if any of you attempt to do some blind contour drawings on your own. You've seen now, like, you don't need much. Um, there's no pressure for it to look good because it, like, looks however it looks. It's silly. It's fun. Um, you can be really, really loose with it. And sometimes you surprise yourself with how, like, accurate it looks or... Just like new shapes that you come up with, even when it's not accurate, sometimes like the way that your hand moves ends up being so different than when you're looking. Um, so yeah, those are the takeaways. And um, if you haven't already, we'd still love the subscribes. If you want to check out our other videos, check them out. Let us know what you think. Um, we're doing some new ways of um, making commentary and playing around with that and seeing what works. So if you have any, any uh, thoughts on that, let us know. We'd love to hear it. And um, yeah, stay good and healthy and safe and happy and crafty. And we will see you soon. We're going to go now.